Hello, and welcome back to another nighttime chat with me, your host, Amber. I'm over here pretending like this is really <laughs> a nighttime show, but it could be for us. We could be friends. We can totally do this. Um, anyways, I wanted to start this video off by saying thank you if you watched my last video. Um, and if you left a comment, thank you so much. And if you subscribed, thank you so much. So let's get straight into this video. This video is going to be about how I am prioritizing self-care, which I think is a very important, whether you're a single parent, whether you have, in general, I think it's very important. And I do want to say that self-care can be different for anybody. Whatever my definition of self-care is, could mean that someone else thinks my definition of self-care is not self-care. So everybody's idea of self-care is completely different. So this is just my opinions and what I think is self-care and what I like to do for myself. So as a parent, I think it's very, very important to prioritize taking care of yourself because the saying is a happy mom is a happy child or a happy dad is a happy child. And that statement could not be truer, I'm just saying, because if you feel like crap on the inside and if you're not taking care of yourself, that's going to reflect, I feel like, on the outside. And, you know, I feel like if you're neglecting yourself, then, I, I mean, it's I've been there where I've neglected myself and just, just putting myself on the back burner is so hard while trying to take care of another cute little human baby child. So that's just my experience. I noticed that when I stop taking care of myself, when I stop, you know, doing the things that I like to do, then I'm not as happy or vibrant or like, woo, so much energy. I don't have as much energy. So that's just my opinion. If you don't agree with that, that's fine too. Okay. Just saying. Um, so what do I do to make sure that I'm happy? Because like I said, I notice when I'm happy and well rested, then I am so much better as a parent. I'm more present. I want to go out and do stuff. I want to go to the park, even though it drives me crazy. I will suck it in for my son. I will oh, I'll take one for the team or like go to the zoo or do all these fun things. Whereas if I don't take care of myself, then I have no energy and I kind of just want to stay home and just survive. So... This is what I've been doing. And if you want to share below what you've been doing, I would love it. I would love to see what you're doing and how you're taking care of yourself. So here it goes. The first thing I started doing was exercising. And I've only started doing this a month and a half ago. I have exercised re religiously in the past, but I always give up because I put this big pressure on myself that I have to exercise. And if I don't, um, then I'm just a failure. And I've also let external things going on in my life affect me to the point where I just get into this low point and I don't want to do anything. I don't want to exercise, so I stop. So this time I'm really trying to make this a priority, whether if it's, a, whether if it's I get three to four um, times a week of exercise in, I'm still doing it. So I've set up a plan a five day plan and I'm sticking to it and I'm buying equipment that I've been wanting to buy for years because I want to make working out working out exciting for me so I have a plan set up I work out Monday through Friday and I break it down from like legs and backs and arms and you know the whole deal spiel and I recently just bought a barbell and some 10 pound um, what are those things called? bumper plates because I want to teach myself to deadlift and I really really do enjoy deadlifting and I really do enjoy doing those little hip thrusts from Brett Contreras okay he's the creator of it and let me tell you I feel strong after I do it but I generally feel great after a workout like I have released all my inner demons and all the thoughts in my mind that go a million miles per second a day just they just they get outside of me and then I'm done and my mind is like peaceful and quiet and I can go to bed and sleep easier and I have more energy now versus before I feel like I was just like sluggish 
and then my body was just always sitting down because I work from home. So here's my little office. So I sit here and I'm just sitting all day and then I just sit, sit, sit. And, and at some point I just felt like, like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I want to go for a run, but I'm also tired. So I said, you know what, F this, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make up a plan and I'm going to stick to it. And you're going to feel amazing afterwards ever. So I did. And here I am a month and a half in and I feel great. So that's the number one thing I've done. And in general, exercising is great. Whether moving your body, whatever it is, just going for a walk or I don't know if you like to play tennis or if you like to dance, I like to dance. So that's good cardio. That's something it's just, as long as you're moving your body. Um, but if you don't want to work out, then don't either do what makes you happy. So, but that's what works for me. The second thing that I'm trying to do, but also hard because, um, you know, child. So I thrive in an environment that's organized and clean all the time. And that's not always the case. It's gonna, it always gets dirty because, you know, I have a three-year-old running around and there's toys everywhere, which the toys aren't bad to put away. But it's also hard to keep a place clean when he can't go to daycare because COVID, if there's a breakout and he has to stay home with me and I have to do, somehow I have to manage working <laughs> And taking care of him so i'm always like back and forth back and forth back and forth he wants popcorn he wants this blah blah, blah. And then i go try to do some work and then he wants this i'm like okay so it's, i can never focus on one task and then at that point we're usually banned from daycare for 10 days when those days happen so my house gets a complete disaster i just let go because i have no energy and then i'm trying to work out and it's too much at one time so i'm really really trying to to develop some sort of rhythm and plan to make sure that my house is livable i mean well it's livable but i mean that it doesn't get to a point where the mess affects me internally because when my outside area or my environment is nice clean and organized i feel nice clean and organized on the inside like right now my car is a disaster because he likes to bring a toy every single time i go into the car and just me thinking about it stresses me out like i need to go clean my car so i've been meaning to do it but i haven't had the time yet so that's just an example. And what I've been doing is not trying to overwhelm myself by adding all these new goals or these things that I try to, I want to incorporate in my life to make myself feel better. I don't do it all at once because if I do, I will, I just jump off the train and I won't ever do it. So I've been incorporating things slowly. Like right now my house is clean and it makes me so happy. It's because I, if it gets to a point where it's so messy during the week, I will clean a room or do little sections at a time because I know that clean the whole house and one day is not going to happen for me, at least not for me, okay? I get really tired and it's too much. So I clean every single day something that's messy. I like pick up the, the playroom or I pick up the living room or I vacuum. So I do something every single day, every single day of the week so that it's just continuous instead of me just letting it go to crap for the whole week and then spending a whole weekend trying to clean it. It doesn't work for me. I've tried it. It does not work. So keeping up with the cleaning, which I will make a separate video about that too, but that helps me and makes me feel better. Another thing is self-care. What I just, well, obviously self-care, but I don't know. I gotta get my words together. Another thing I like to do and that I enjoy is using face products or what is it called? I'm blanking out, face care, I don't know but um, making sure I clean my face and I use a few products. I don't have a lot because you don't need a lot, but you know, putting on my serum or my night mask and then going to bed and then waking up with a good glow, nice, soft, dewy, not so dry skin. It makes me feel good. Now that one I've been slacking because I told you, you gotta add a little thing, gotta add little things at one time so I don't overwhelm myself. So, um, I do have a washer, a, a washing soap in the bathroom, which is what I use when I take a shower. And then I'll put like a, a lotion on. So right now I'm not putting too much pressure myself to get back into that because I used to be so into it, but I just let that go when I started, um, when I had my son and when I be, was raising him on my own. So there's a lot of things that I let go and there's a lot of things that I used to love. So that I want to incorporate back in. I was doing really good for a month and then I got tired, but this was before I started working out. And I feel like now that I started working out, I have more energy to do the things that I enjoy. So working out has really been a game changer and is the 
the thing that has made me realize that I really need to do more for myself in, in, in the self-care department. So I'm going to work on that one, but I'm just giving you an idea of what I'd like to get better at also in this video. So I really want to get better at that and stick to it and have a plan and do it every single day because I feel like taking care of your skin now is going to benefit you or benefit me, sorry, benefit me in the future. Another thing that I enjoy doing, but I never really had the energy to do it. It's like a vicious cycle. <laughs> I'd never had the energy to do it a lot because I I just was always tired. But now that I've started exercising more, I have so much more energy. It's great. So another thing I do enjoy is going out and exploring the world, which I would like to do more of. And I'm also trying to, to do more of it. But unfortunately, I just do not thrive in places that have a lot of people. And so I get really stressed out easily. So I like to do things early in the morning. So like, for example, tomorrow we're going to go to a zoo. And I said, I really want to go. I really want to get out of the house and walk around and get my body moving. But we're going to go right when it opens because I want to avoid the crowd. And so we're going to stay there for a couple hours and then leave once it gets too crazy. But I really do enjoy being outside in nature. I, I really do. It's so peaceful. And especially, I, I, I love doing it alone. But I can't right now because... You know, my baby. He stresses me out though when we go out to these little things. Like one time, I know this is going off track. One time we went on this little trail up in the mountains and he was like, he just wanted to go and run around and you know, be his own, be his own vibe. And I was like, you can't because there's no rails. And I was like, I was so afraid that he would like slip and fall. So I'm holding his hand the whole time. And he was like screaming and throwing a tantrum. So it's like, I like to do things where it's not really toddler safe so i can't do those things right now so when he's a lot older i cannot wait because he'll listen to me and then we can do some more outdoorsy stuff but right now we do toddler friendly outdoorsy stuff whether that's going to the zoo or walking around the park or like going to little shopping centers or nice little trails that i found where i live we have found some of those um, but that stuff really does make me happy and I've noticed that if I'm in the house for too long because I'm such a homebody and the moment that I step outside and I'm out for like a couple of hours I feel so much better like so much mental clarity I feel happy it's like the sun really does help and give you it gives you or gives me a boost of energy and happiness because I've got the fresh air flowing and the wind or in my hair and I just feel great so I really do enjoy exploring. It is just a lot harder with a with a toddler, you know? And that's something I used to love to do before being a parent was just exploring and going to museums and just really being alone by myself exploring. And I feel like I could do that more. I would have to get a babysitter because I'd like to do that. It's nice sometimes and it's always good, you know, to do things separate from your child, I believe. I mean, if you don't, then that's fine because sometimes parents need alone time okay and it's good and it's healthy and it's better for everybody but that's one other thing i'm trying to see if there's something else i mean taking a shower every day i do that because i work out I'm like i feel like i should shower two times a day you know so I work out, yeah, take a shower, which actually showers do make me feel so much better. Like if I, there are days where I just get in this little funk and I don't want to do anything and I go, okay, Amber, get your a, get your booty butt up, okay? And I go take a shower and usually after I take a shower, it feels, I feel so much better. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the water <laughs> or just rinsing your body and all your worries away. I feel so much better. So, I mean, that's, that's something that everybody should do every day, you know, because you got to stay fresh. But to me, sometimes it's very therapeutic taking a shower. Um, I really, really do want to do some things that I haven't gotten around to it. So those are things I'm trying to do now. The things that I really want to do and get back into would be painting or drawing or getting into the artsy world of things like I used to. I mean, I was learning in college and I was like, wow, this is fun. And I feel like if I would have continued that, that hobby, I could have gotten pretty good, I feel like. Um, 
I'd like to do that, but right now I just don't have the motivation or maybe I just don't feel like I enjoy that anymore. But I did buy the stuff for it. I bought like all this stuff to do it and I have it. So we'll see. We gotta take it day by day, right? Can't, can't add too many things. And then another one I wanna try is loom. Is it looming? Loom, to buy a loom and to make like my own scarves and sweaters because I'm a, I'm a pretty quick learner when it comes to stuff like that. So I feel like once I get in a hang in it and I'm at the, the hang of it, once I get the hang of it, I don't know what I was saying. Once I get the hang of it, I get in the groove, put on some bomb music, some Michael J or something and just roll out a scarf or something. I feel like that would be so cool to make something on my own. Um, so that that's my form of self-care. Those are just a few ideas, right? Cause self-care can be something different. Like someone might think that drawing or art or trying to learn to loom is not self-care, but to me, it is, okay? Um, another thing I wanna get better at <laughs> is trying to eat cleaner, like more whole foods and stuff like that. But I get so lazy that I just opt in for things that are easier because uh, at the end of the day, I just don't want to do, I just, I just, at the end of the day, after I do all these activities and I'm working and all this stuff, I'm just tired. I don't want to, I don't want to cook a full on meal. And basically I just eat them because my son doesn't. He doesn't even, I don't know what it is. He just likes fruit and spaghetti and chicken nuggets and like popcorn. I mean, but that was just a random rant. Um, and this, I'm trying to do this. I want to be creative, trying to do YouTube, trying to see if, if I could do something with it. And to me, this is fun recording and talking because I have no friends here. It's just me and my son. I mean, I do talk to my friends, but not in person, which I wish I could all the time, but I can't because they're far away. They're far away. So it's like me just sitting here with you and chatting about life, you know, whether you want to hear it or not. But that's a few. And those are the things that I think are self-care and that I enjoy doing. Um, also, another thing I'd like to do more is do my hair. I mean, I've really given up on it because it's really curly and like frizzy and poofy as you can see. I would love to do my hair, but I'm just so <laughs> lazy. But I notice that when I do do my hair, I feel so much better. I feel like confident and cute and like ready to take on the world. But like right now, I, 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 this is, not something that I'm really um, interested in doing right away. So I'd like to do that. I see I have a lot of goals here. <laughs> a lot of self-care goals, which is good. That's it for today's video. I really do hope um, that you take care of yourself, you love yourself, that you make yourself a priority, and that you figure out what you need, and you make a plan, and you do it, and you know, continuously do it because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. It is okay. It is okay to put yourself as a priority and to take care of yourself if you have a child, okay? Just saying that, okay? If you need to go away sometimes and go on a vacation for a couple of days, don't feel guilty, okay? You need the rest. You need the rest. I'm gonna take my own advice because I'd really like to go on vacation on a vacation by myself and just <sighs> sit out. And then when I come back, I'm ready to tackle it. I'm ready to tackle H4. H4. All right, that was it for the video. If you like this, please um, subscribe. If you don't, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but I'd really appreciate it. You can leave some comments of some things that you do or your story of what you're getting back into, what you want to do for self-care, you know, sharing some tips on how to deadlift. You can share that with me. I would love it. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for sitting in with me on our late night chats here. And I hope you have a great day, night, whatever you're doing right now. And that is it.